it's another week, another day, another dollar. Here another we are. Out, another, it's it's getting cold summer, though. Everyone's going to be leaving soon. It's getting close, yeah, right? That. I'm going to be here on air whilst boys go on holiday over June and August. And yes. Keep your ears peeled. Yes. <laughs> Maybe your eyes. Uh, to QF Radio because we're not going anywhere. Yes, I'm not going we anywhere either. Here, so I'm sneaking away for two weeks. And keep that's your all. radio switched on, people. Please don't abandon us. Yes. Support our show. <laughs> uh, well, Definitely. We, we were talking with you last week about warming up and cooling down. Yeah. And we'd also talked about eating raw. What are we going to chat about today? Now that it's getting warmer, mm. I thought, you know, I definitely have to make some shows about that. So there's going to be a couple of shows coming up about sun and, and things like that. So please stay tuned to that because it's very informative. But today it's all about hydration. But we've spoken about that before. We've spoken about water, why it's important. We all know that now. But I'm going to give you today eight to hydrate. So eight different ways you can hydrate, okay? Because it's so important here, especially as these temperatures rise, Mm -hmm. yeah? So I'm going to tell you one fact. Water is non-caloric, yeah? So it plumps up your skin and it hydrates your muscles. Water is the staff of life. Mm -hmm. (laughs) Mm-hmm. And now it's everywhere, basically. <laughs> no, it's very socially acceptable to walk around with water bottles. People used to think a bit like, you know, it was bad for the environment. But here it's very common to walk around with water bottles. Yeah. And, and and people can also have um, these flasks. So, you know, no excuse not to drink water. It's readily available everywhere here. Okay. But, you know, you've got to be aware, though, because some of these liquid beverages, mm-hmm. the sodas and things, they're actually diuretic. In them, there's a lot of nasties that don't actually hydrate you so if you're drinking cans and cans of this stuff you're not hydrating you need water in its purest form but that can be found in lots of different places so i'm going to tell you those so water should again be your first choice when it comes to staying hydrated and ideally you just sip this every 15 to 20 minutes throughout the day wow i really find it fascinating i have no problem with drinking water i feel mm. that i probably because i have an active job I'm thirsty maybe quite a lot, so I'm always yeah. drinking water. But I'll meet people who are from here, and they'll be like, nah, I drink one bottle a day. Oh, you have to meet people who just don't like yeah. water. They just really don't like it. They find yeah. it very difficult to drink. Yeah, and it can be a struggle if I say to you, right, you've got to drink six of these bottles today. It seems like a massive hurdle. They just can't face it. Mm. But let's try and break those six bottles up. Six bottles of the 500 mils would be three litres. That's a normal amount in a yeah. day to drink, okay? So if you split up one in the morning, one mid-morning lunchtime, one afternoon, do it like that, then it's not so bad. Take it in smaller chunks than thinking about the huge bottles. Like, yeah. I've got to drink these, right? So let's not forget the AC de- dehydrates us as yeah. well. So we're living at the moment in a desert environment where the heat is excruciating, And then we've got AC blasting at us. Mm. We are drying our systems Mm -hmm. out. So that's why a lot of us feel tired and feel sluggish and lethargic. Mm. Water can help you feel a little bit more energized. Because when you're dehydrated, your body starts to shut down effectively. It starts to slow down. So re-energize yourself with some water. So here are eight ways you can get more water into your day without just drinking through the bottles, right? Okay. But of course, you've got to keep drinking those bottles of water. Yeah. <laughs> but some extra ways. Number one, cucumber. Yes. I mean, that, that's just made of water, isn't Absolutely. it? Absolutely. <laughs> cucumber like of green is water. 95% water. <laughs> How cool is that, right? So if you actually okay. sat and ate a cucumber, mm. which, nothing wrong with doing that, it's just drinking water. There's no <laughs> calories in it. Sorry, vision of someone just chomping away at a cucumber. <laughs> chomp, chomp, chomp. I put cucumbers in green smoothies yeah. because they help to liquidate the smoothie yes, and make yeah. it kind of blend easier yeah. but a cucumber and um, cut it up yeah put it in a little salad with tomatoes that has got a lot of water in it as does citrus fruit an old favorite there watermelon mm-hmm. the key mm-hmm. is in the name right mm, yum, yum, yum. but citrus fruit can also be quite helpful if you have a jug of water in your fridge and you chop up some lemon or some orange and just put those slices in it might just make it a little bit easier for you to drink yeah. than co- always just drinking plain boring water plus i spoke before didn't i about lemon with water can help clean up your di- gi tract also helps aid digestion needs help now and again to move things through it so when you drink things like hot water with lemon it helps just to push your digestive system into order so it's not a bad thing to do and hey drinking all this nice water helps clean up your skin like i've said yeah also can be good for the old gums and the teeth if you're having it with fruit, citrus fruit. Mm. So a really nice one. Think about grapes. Think about pineapple. Yeah. A lot of these citrus fruits are liquidy. Yeah, anything you eat and it's like... Yes. Like sometimes pears and things Absolutely. like that. Juicy like, apples. I often am like craving like an orange because it's really refreshing. It's wet. Like you're maybe mm. dehydrated and it just makes you feel kind of, I don't know, zingy. It's got some energy in it. Mm. 
something that might be surprising to hear is chicken breast. Mm. Well, hopefully not one of the dodgy ones that are 98% water or something. Well, you pump it up with water sometimes. Yeah, there is quite a lot of those in the go. Actually, most chicken has a quite a high percentage of water. Not Can, after I've cooked it. Okay. Dried and chewy. <laughs> there's, no, there's nothing worse than like really chewy chicken, right? Yeah. There's nothing worse. But no, most meat has a high percentage of water. But yeah, some companies are pumping it with extra water. Yeah. But if you think about when you grill chicken, think about all the stuff that oozes yeah. out. Yeah. People think it's fat. Some of it's fat, some of it's water. Yeah. It's actually oozing out of it. So by eating something like chicken, again, you're just getting a bit more water into your system. Okay. Okay, it's a little a little idea. Mm. This one's a really simple, easy one. That's soup. We all know that, right? Plenty of water in broth-based soup. So broth-based, of course, is water with either a stock cube or you use natural stock from a chicken or bones from, you know, yeah. an animal. That can give you um, natural stock. And, of course, when you're slurping that soup, even though it's hot, you actually are hydrating yourself in the process. So that's quite... A nice idea, right? You're doing two for the price of one there. (laughs) Okay, and just be aware of the salty stock, though, because salty stock, again, will make you thirsty. Yeah. And then, effectively, it'll dehydrate you until you go and take more water in. And that is if you do go and do that. Something that I really like here is on my list, number five of eight to hydrate, is us Brits call it jelly. Mm. The Americans call it Jello. <laughs> <laughs> I haven't had jelly in a long time. I know it's a kids' party That's favorite. What it feels like. yeah, yeah. I actually used to love it as a kid. I used to love jelly. But you know, how did you make it? You had those little those little um, cube with hot water, yeah. didn't those you? Cubes and, smell amazing. Yeah, and I used to eat them raw. Yeah, they were quite a good quite a good energy booster. Like <laughs> yeah, if you're, but if you think about it, where do a lot of people eat jelly? Where do people eat like jelly? I don't know. <laughs> I haven't eaten in a hospital. Oh, in a hospital. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you mean literally where? I was thinking, what do you integrate it into? Uh, yeah, hospitals. They give it to a lot of people just for a few reasons. One, that's easy palatable. So mm-hmm. first of all, it's easy to digest, but it contains um, a lot of energy. Yeah. So per cube, you get quite a lot of energy out yeah. of it. So people who are recovering, that little boost. And also it hydrates. Yeah. So that's the reasons that people uh, are actually giving this. So sick patients are giving it. Hospital, not trifle then. That's yeah. The Hospital is where a lot of people are tucking into jelly or jello. It's made from water and gelatin, right? Yeah. It's not highly nutritious at all, to yeah. be honest with you. And even the gelatin can be not really suitable for vegetarians. But um, and there's a lot of colourings and stuff. If you think mm. about these bright coloured. My grandmother used to make this amazing jelly. I'm going to tell you this. And she would chop up like bananas and kiwis and stuff and slice it, like layer it into the jelly. Nice. Oh, I'm telling see, you. See, in Australia, we used to do frog in a pond, which what was you take a Freddo frog. Brilliant. <laughs> yes, yeah, so you get like your green jelly. Yeah. And then you'd stick a Freddo frog in the middle of it. To get the set. Freddo. Pin- and it was all worth eating the jelly to get to Freddo. The thing is, I don't like the Freddo. I like the koala, oh, the caramello. Yeah, see, we're yeah. talking Australian this stuff is all here. The Australian stuff, I like the yeah, caramello, man. The good stuff. I like him. <laughs> more of this in the, in the health news. Yeah, everyone's like really craving chocolate now. <laughs> they're they're like, forget the. Forget the, the water, we want the jello. Moving on yeah. <laughs> from Fredo Frog to herbal teas. Ah, uh, yes. Yeah. Herbal tea, obviously, like the soup, goes without saying. There's water there. That's so easy, right? So, again, things like coffee are a diuretic. They they do dehydrate you. So I wouldn't classify coffee as a good way to hydrate. But herbal tea is okay, especially green tea. Mm-hmm. So green tea, um, and we were talking about raw organic, none of this secret added stuff into it, yeah? We want just the raw green tea. Um, we love our Argo tea here. We like an Argo so tea. Tasty. We love it. Because it just makes tea... I, I'm. It takes I, tea to another level. Yeah, I think, like, <laughs> being British, I'm very much an, an uh, English breakfast person, right? Mm-hmm. Like, we like our black tea, yeah. and that's about it. We're not really into flavoured teas. But then putting a twist on things yeah. like the ginger the green tea with ginger and lemon yeah, I love that because sometimes you you pull out a herbal tea bag and you've bought them say in yeah. shops before and it yeah. smells amazing it tastes like nothing yeah. these definitely have flavour it's pretty potent like if I have mm. the green tea it's quite strong Yeah, it really packs a punch which is what you want yeah. You want you don't want this green tea bag that tastes of nothing, like you said. You want it to taste of like cardboard. Yeah. You want it to really pack a punch. So things like chamomile are quite nice for relaxing at night, peppermint, and again, even spicy chai. I like chai tea. It's really nice, gives your metabolism a bit of a kick. Yeah. But herbal tea is not only a really nice way to hydrate, but it can be used, like I said, to relax. It can just be used as a nice alternative. Um, from other drinks that contain a lot of nasties. Yeah. Um, number seven on eight to hydrate, super favourite of mine, smoothies. <laughs> Whack your fruit or your veg into your Vitamix or Vitamix and uh, put some milk or water or ice 
blend it all up what have you got you've got some bit of fruit there with some water yeah yeah it's a really good way i'm constantly putting in water or ice into my smoothie concoctions just an extra way to sneak in hydration and it packs a punch with a lot of vitamins so it's a really good way to um i like to start my day that way and lastly if you're really struggling and you just cannot stand plain old boring water then i would opt for the flavored water there are some out there I'm not sure if there's as many choice here as there are in other countries, but there are still waters that have flavouring in them. Um, and at the end of the day, even if it has calories or even if it has sugar, if it's going to help you stay hydrated, I would rather you did that yeah. than just didn't drink it. Yeah. So it's still something to think about is to try and get some more water into your day. Well, super important, especially as you say, now that the weather is yeah. heating up, we're getting to that time of year. And if anybody has any tips that they use, anything that they kind of keep themselves Definitely. going with during the day, let us know nine two one two six and at QF Radio Two on Twitter or at and Stretch Yoga. Yeah, and just be careful, guys, that you know there is such a thing as drinking too much water yeah. in a short time. So, like I said, you're aiming for like three liters in this climate. Yeah, but spread that out. So don't drink all at once. Okay, yeah. spread it out <laughs> throughout the day, Gosh. and especially if you're exercising, and if you're exercising in heat. This is really important. We're going to talk about that on Wednesday. Um, you know, just bear in mind that use your body as a tool. If you feel thirsty, you're dehydrated. If you're not going to the bathroom enough, you're dehydrated. Mm. Let's stay hydrated. Wonderful. We'll see you on Wednesday. Yes. See you Have then.